Um, so you do a ton, you do a ton of work with V Don. Um, on Braveheart, I will never get over this line. They they try to uh, take me to the top so they can throw me from it. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Why are you and V Don so magical together? I I don't know, man. It's, it's a lot. I get asked that a lot, man. And and V Don can't even answer that shit. He might just look at it the same way I do. It's like, yo, that's my bro, man. Like. We just been at it since 07, you know, 08. That's when New Crack era stemmed from, like the first record I ever recorded with Dawn. In 07, we didn't even have Facebook yet, none of that. We had LimeWire, Napster and shit. We called, we titled the shit New Crack era in 07. Mm. That's the first record I ever recorded with B-Dawn. It was titled New Crack era. Facts. And we put it out on my space. I want to say he put it out on his tape. I put it out on mine. We we didn't surface as much at the time. You know what I mean? But then we got, you know, Beat Butcher. I introduced Beat Butcher to Dawn. Beat Butcher ended up flying now from London. Um, next thing you know, we working with Mr. Probs. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Probs flew out. V Dawn produced for him the Who Are You record. It's, you know connecting dots, man, you know, and we started from nothing. We started from MySpace. We started from an internet website, you know what I'm saying? And that's, that showed me the importance of digital, that, and we're in now in the digital age. It's going to be very hard for us to pack the trunk and drive around unless motherfuckers is going to buy our shit. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, the, the gold... Came out five years ago, um, according to my estimation, what I, my research. It got a nice, this is a little bit of a long question, but um, it's got a nice essential feel to it. It's reminiscent of, of like a Nas feel from the early 90s. The flow is a bit faster than what people know you for um, right now, but it displays the synergy between your voice and the music. It shows that even five years ago, your ear for the music was impeccable. Um, will you go back and give us more of that style? Because quite frankly, you pulled off uh, that jazzy boom back classic style at a very high level uh, that a lot of cats still reach for, but don't quite hit it. Will you be going back and revisiting that style that you did on the go? I was shocked when I heard that song. It's so different. I never, I never, that's the thing is that I never have to chase it. I never have to go back. It's right here. It's, it's on my lap. Um, as far as that record goes, in particular, the Jazzy Groove, you, that solo brass riff you had at the end was through a family member that, that I happened to to connect to, through, and I paid him a few dollars to hit the, you know, hit the brass for me. Oh, man. That's not a problem to do again, but I, I, don't, I don't ever have to, like, look for it or bring it back or chase it because I do this every day. I got a live band. I'm actually like prepping my first live performance. You know, oh, yeah. with, with, I got the live basser. I got the keyboardist. I got the drummer. The only thing we are missing in exact is the brass section. But other than that, I'm working on it. You know what I mean? Um, but I know I know what you're saying as far as the content of the the, the song. Flowing. Yeah, the way it sounds. It got that essential feel to it. And I'll be wanting to tap into that shit, but I don't want to sound like a contradiction. If I got to make turn into a gimmick, those those songs you hear are, are, are exactly how I feel at the moment. Yes. It's heartfelt. Yeah. So I can't make it a point to follow up with that shit if, if I have to follow up with it. It has to be from the heart. So that's that's the problem is that I don't chase it. Or try to like gimmick the shit. Yeah, and I appreciate, I and I never will gimmick the shit. I appreciate you, know you saying that. I appreciate that. When I heard yeah. it, it just it struck me because you, it was sort of you. Y'all go check out the gold after y'all. Yeah, I, yo, not for nothing, Mike Powers. My my pie, I don't cut you off on till this day, man. Believe it or not, a lot of people still hit me about that record and they say, yo, thank you. Like that shit got me through the day. Like. Taught me how to be a better parent to my kid. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm talking about my daughter. Yeah, you do talk about your daughter on there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, that shit makes me want to be a better parent. 
and and because I still got things I need to follow and and, and uphold. I don't get caught up in the moment unless I'm a guru, but you do. Then we get lost and, you know, out of base with reality, it happens. And that's where the goal comes in. That's where you find yourself. And that's what the goal means, the inner. You listen to, to the skit in the beginning. Yeah. That's what it was about, just finding the goal within you. Y'all go check out the gold. Yeah. G-O-L-D, and y'all going to hear what the fuck I'm talking about. It's like nothing you ever heard. <laughs> right, uh, right. It's in, it's incredible, and it's going to take you back, but it's, it's, to, it's it feels like today, but it's going to take you back, man. It's such a day. I, I was blown yo, the fuck away. Yo, that out of Pessy, too, man. A lot of people don't know who, who struck, who, you know, who's behind that, or excuse me, behind that soundscape. That's Dope Pessy. Shout out to him. That's G-Unit. That's Lloyd Banks, you know, pretty much his number one guy. Um, germs, you know, shout out to um, Buddha and Grants, you know, that's that, you know, that circle there, yo, Dope Pesci, shout out to him, man, he produced the gold, Dabu got uh, gas and shot shit, so, yeah, man, you know, it, it's a lot of big moves behind that record, it just didn't surface, but they catching on till this day, so I'm cool with that. So what is your opinion uh, on the, the current uh, auto-tune mumble rap that's getting like 150 million views on YouTube. Um, my thing is this. Um, if I didn't have to be the artist and I don't have to be, um, I would. I mean, my daughter loves that that shit. like Imani Sky. You heard her on Rock America, Pastor Curry. But my daughter puts me on to these new acts. Yeah, you know these, these, these I love it. Um, me personally, would I make it a point to record these? This style of music, you know, I don't specialize in that shit. But the auto-tune, I think it's for the new age, honestly. Let's just snip in and say, yo, it's great for the kids. Um, as far as, um, not the business, but as far as them loving music, because when I grew up, I only loved gangster music, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I read this meme online, it was like, we grew up listening to drug dealer music and y'all listening up growing up listening to drug user music that shit fucked me up oh yeah yeah you know what I'm saying? but at least the music is a little more brighter it's not as dark it's more dancey i'm with it i support it my daughter loves it auto tune you probably would never hear me on that shit but i'm an artist so I would do that for my daughter. Mm -hmm. I just feel like this is my opinion, you know, and nobody asked me for it, but it, it's like, you know, you got the outcast, you got the NWA, you got um, public enemy, you got KRS one, big daddy Kane. These is, is songs that was made that last 30, 40 years later. You know what I mean? I just don't, it's songs that came out in like 2004, Certain songs, I'm not going to name what the fuck they are, but they was hitting hard. Motherfuckers not about to dig that up 30 years from now. I just... Yeah, they like, will. They will. You think? And it's happening now. We were just talking about that, like the genre. Um, mm -hmm. Native tongue, so to say. Okay. We had a genre at one point that specialized into the poor righteous teachers, Jungle Brothers, X-Clan, Public Enemy. It was all positive. It was all fight the power. They canceled that real quick. That genre is slowly but surely coming back around because of the state we're in right now. But I'm going to bounce back and tell you right now that I can't get into that because I can't contradict what I... I would if I, if I step into that, I would have to uphold it from here on up because I can't just rap about it because of the state we're in right now. It just sounds... It's a gimmick. I can't feed into that. I have I to mind my business. Yeah. And I'm not about to let motherfuckers loot our community. But what I'm telling you is, it's a lot of people who's telling me, E, you need to speak on this. No, I can't and I won't. Because I'm against all that shit. You understand? And my thing is, man, I remember when we had Fight the Power and Love's Gonna Get You and, 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 and the... Um, What's the main joint with all of them? The, the self-destruction. Oh, you talking about self-destruction? We all in the same gang? See, this is what need to be going on, right? I see people attempting to act like they give a fuck. I get it. Catch the wave. Be a part of the cause. 
Yeah. I don't move like that, which yeah. is why I can't have nothing to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They canceled that genre years ago, and that's what I grew up listening to. Yeah. I remember the X Clans, they had the earrings in their noses and fucking. I remember all of them. To the East Blackwards. That was my album. I love that exactly. album. Exactly. You understand? Yeah. They canceled that. They took that, wiped it out. Nobody even talked about that genre again. The native tongue. Yeah. You understand? We I think they it. did it on purpose. Of course. Because we was, you know, we was boycotting the shit that they didn't want us to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. So, but see, don't you think it's something to be said about a person that has a uh, different side that a person, a, a man is complicated. A human being is complicated, right? So Tupac, he would make a song like Dear Mama or Keep Your Head Up. But he also came back and made a song like Hit Him Up where he tried to spray everybody. You know what I mean? It's a contradiction. You heard? If you're going to be peaceful and talk that peace shit, we can't never talk war again. You understand? Never. I can't. I can't tap into that because now I gotta uphold it. If it's from the heart, then you're gonna hear me talk about peace for the rest of my motherfucking life. But I'm not, I don't want to make peace. It's war. You heard? I can't contradict this shit that I be talking about because I mean this shit and I mean it in a peaceful way. <laughs> right. So now you at war, but you want peace for your family. Am I right? Of course. But as long as it's not peace, the least we can do is talk about war in a peaceful manner. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, look, we can go about it this way or that way. Because if we're not talking about war in a peaceful manner, then there's nothing to talk about. Right. You know? Right. So that's my thing. I don't like to get into politics or none of that shit. These niggas think I'm a child. You know? Cause I'm little E and all that. I weigh a buck twenty something. Listen, I'm a grown man. I'm pushing forty years old, and I don't want no trouble. <laughs> I just want to make music, money, and my family proud. That's it. I like that. God damn it! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah, powers. <laughs> well, the mother, man, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm talking about. Telling. No, but that's the conversation that people need to hear. They need to know who the man is. You know what I mean? Because you can go anywhere and drop 16 on somebody real quick. I watched the interview that you did when you was when you was with Mayhem or whatever, and I don't know really what the whole situation yeah, was. Yeah, but there. guess what? Guess what? They never put in the interview about the reason behind my verse or the verse I spit. That was for Ito Bigante. Mm. But that's neither here nor there. All I'm saying is media is a motherfucker. Yeah. Listen, we people first, man. Yes. And I'm a, and you know, I love this rap shit, man, and I love everybody. And I want all of us to succeed. And that's it, nothing else. We deserve to succeed as of now, especially me and mine, because we've been doing this for a long time. And we yeah. ain't gave up and we not giving up. And they gonna respect the parade. Period. Bruh, your time is now. Fuck the dumb shit. That's it what it is. Um, we spoke about Nas before, where I, I compared the, the gold to that song, um, to, to, to Nas, the feeling. Um, you got the joint called Back at the Barbecue, which of course pays uh, is paying homage to Nas. You got Large Pro on there. It must have been a dream come true to do work with Large it, Professor. It was... See, that's the thing I'll be telling, man, is these people is that we grew up watching these motherfuckers Indian style on our mother's floor models. Mm. Rap City, Fat Five Freddy, Downtown Julie Brown. To be in the same room with these motherfuckers, that's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. So when I got round pro, when I got round pro, I had my lady with me too. I was like, hey, you know who this nigga is? Girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. And he can spit. And he can spit. Oh, oh, he was spitting too. But he it, it did like two beats that oh no, actually first time I got with Pro scratch that. First time I got with, with Pro was at Static Selector Studio. Oh wow. And we was recording for I wanna say terminologies out. Shout the terminology. That I'll return, my God. Listen. 
We, yeah, he did the beat on the spot. Boom, boom, boom. And we recorded as static shit. Next thing you know, that was for term shit. About a month or two after, we ended up in Queens. And I was in the building with Pro himself. And we recorded like two records that night. Mm. Two people. Uh, shout out to Watts. Yo, shout out to Watts. And uh, um, Carlos, Classic Material NY. Yo, big up. My nigga Trey A2. Um, I wrote the verses on the spot, man. Two of them. My voice was hoarse that night. I'm still waiting on motherfucking Watts to send a session back so I could re-record it because my voice was, oh, my shit was hit. <clears throat> but yo, classic, man. My boy. And we met up with Lars Pro in Orlando with Jay. You heard? Jay mm -hmm. Rio. Shout out to Jay, my brother. Um, We met out. Yeah, it was Orlando or maybe Kissimmee or something. We shot a, another other video that day. We had cooked out type of chicken, franks, and all that freeze. Oh, um, yeah, it was dope, man. Yo, shout out to Pro, man. That's that dude right My there. Professor, hey, that's that dude. Legend in the game, main source. You're back. Back to that. Why did the song fade out just as you was catching fire on that back at the barbecue? Like because you the, because the full length is coming out on the Lex with excuse me, next release okay. featuring someone special. Oh, I was so mad. I was so, so mad. It's produced by Lars Pro and it's me featuring Watts and I faded it out simply because y'all gonna get the full length on the next release with someone else. That's back at the barbecue. Go check that out if you don't know what the you fuck remember, I'm talking you about. Remember the blue tapes and, and Whatever mixtape back in the day, they only gave you a snip and then you hear the and then you hear the full length on the next volume. Yes. That's yes. what we meant by that. That's okay. what's happening. Okay. You know what I'm That's what's happening. See, gonna I'm gonna ask a question from I'm a fan, movie. bro. People try to act like, you know what I mean, we supposed to be too cool for school. People come up in here to have a conversation. Hey, I'm listen, really a fan man, of this shit. I love it all, man. I love it. I love it all. I mean, I don't I don't listen to these niggas like all these niggas, but I love who I love. And I'm telling you, we're in a great state as yes. far as this new crack era, underground. Yeah. Basically, in it's back. It's yes. coming. Heavy, heavy. Yes, um, it is. So, right on, it's from back then. Um, what was that video shot? The video for Right On? Rochester, New York. Is that your crib? At the time, was that your crib? Um, yo, shout out to my cuz, Lefty Summers. With the dead arm, you'll see him in every photo with me. We shot that at his spot, Portland Avenue, born and raised. That's where we dwell. Portland Avenue, Durner Street, Durner World. We shot that right there. And they got a mural of me right on Durner and North. That's Rochester. That's what they do for me. That's how much they love me. And my cousins, everybody. Like, we shot that right in the Mecca of where we grew up. Right on Portland Avenue, Rochester, New York, on the north. You was you look so young back then. Not to say that you don't look young now, but you look way young. No, nah, um, no, nah, I, I was shaving my, my scalp off at the time. Okay. Uh -huh. um, you know, God bless the dad, my uncle. You know, that's not even why I shaved my shit, but it was. But I just continued to shave my shit. You know, my cousin, my uncle had passed and all that. And we all shaved our shit due to the situation, but yeah, I just I just like the look, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm about to, you know, I kept up with that shit. I kept scalping my shit for a minute, too. Shaving my shit. But you yeah, showed up without man. the beard. I don't like to talk about people's, like, grooming and shit. You showed up without the beard today. It's, nah, it's, nah, because I'm right on. My shit was fully born. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, I kept up with that shit for a while, you know. My punk had passed and shit. Who was the young kid that you was kicking game to at the table in the at the kitchen table? Who was that in the video? That is that is a pal of mine's his his son. You know what I'm saying? And the, and the, and the concept of that song was me kicking it to a young boy. I actually got a record called Young One that was on a Team Invasion record in 09, 08. It's called Young One, 
and it pretty much just reinvented that. It was me kicking it to a younger kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, get your ones. You know what I'm saying? Right on. Boom, boom, yeah. Get out the way. Boom, boom. That that record is dope. Right on. But that was around the time again, like I I want surf for some reason. Like they weren't grasping that shit. They ain't catch what they just now catching on the right on. Yeah, yeah. Due, due to old murder and hell's roof. But that's cool. I'm cool with it. But at that time, that you asked me, did I ever got discouraged and didn't want it? And that was around the time where I was like, okay, this shit ain't working for me. And I had to get back and do other shit. And boom, boom. And then I got caught up, caught a case. You know what I'm saying? And that fucked me up. And then I had dropped 1983, and that's when I got with Bodega Bands and mm. the Tambo. You know what I'm saying? Heavy bar spitter. Yeah. And mind you, I ain't never do a bit. You know what I'm saying? I had caught the fucking house arrest shit, and I never looked back, ever. I bought a keyboard, a beat machine, speakers, and my guy, my brother, brought uh, bought me a damn tower. Computer. Mm -hmm. I ain't having enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When I got caught up again, got on probation or some shit, then I got with Dawn. Dawn connected me to Bodega Bands. Boom, boom. Tan boys, then Paul Ripon. I never looked back. Shout out to Paul Rilla too, because he connected me with my son, Cuban Link. Me, him, and Petey Crack shot a video at the time. Yeah. And, yeah, man. So, you know, that's when my life changed, man. Like, you know, like after that second charge, like that second running with the law, that shit changed my life for good because I ain't want to go up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, you know, I ain't, nigga, I don't. Let's. I don't want to be in the house, let alone sit down. <laughs> right, right. Have somebody tell you like when you can shit and all that other goofy I'm a lot shit. Older. We talking, you know, we talking years ago. We talking ten plus years ago. So, yeah, man, it's, it's all a learning experience, man. God is great. Hey, so if um, let's say the internet police came and put a gun to your head, they tell you that you can only keep one of these two Nas songs on your phone. Oh, Which one do you keep? Major okay. Look or Second Childhood? Second Childhood. <laughs> that shit go hard, man. Second, Second Childhood. Uh, We're not going to do Made You Look because that's what's going to get us all put in the slam. <laughs> so we're going to do Second Childhood to remind us that we need to move forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you. Uh, <laughs> is there a, a real nine to five that you ever held down? People will be surprised to know that you did this kind of job. Oh yeah, certainly. Um, I did ceiling, black top. Oh, you up on the roof? Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Um, paving. Oh, paving. Um, not asked for, but seal coat. Okay, seal coat. Um, Shit, that was that was roughly about. I mean, shit. I could I could always judge time about how long I've been with my woman. Uh, I've been with her about six years, so that was about seven, eight years ago. I was, you know, um, when I posted a photo on Facebook. Cause I'm not on Facebook, by the way, but I remember posting that shit like, "Yo, out here, with, you know, my boots on, or we doing the seal coat." I remember that. Yes, I definitely worked at nine to five for certain. Only one. That's sad, bro. Right? <laughs> nah, nah. Hey, and that seal coat. That's the thing that that preserved. Nah, nah. But I did the seal coating. Yes, I did for a few seasons too. Facts. I did the seal coating for at least for a few seasons. But in seal coating, mind you, it's only six months. Yeah. Yeah. You know um. I mean? so, Okay, I got one for you. You got to concentrate on this. Or I'm gonna put you on the spot. Uh, I know you know this, but can, can you name uh, all the members of the Wu Tang Clan in under ten seconds? Uh, you go, Master Killer, Reza, Jizza, Ghostface, Raekwon. I say you go. Um, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, you got me. God damn. Yeah, you inspect the deck. Um, I named eight of them motherfuckers. Did you oh, say ODB I yet? I ain't say ODB, god damn. Method Man. I ain't say Method Man either. Oh, man. You got me. It's nothing, nothing to be ashamed about. It's hard to, to, to name all of these guys, man. But um, that's just one of my fun questions. You hey. got me. But hey. you know what? Huh. We also had to have to name the Grave Diggers. Grave Diggers, yes. Sons of Man. Sons of Man. Killer Army. Killer Army, yes. So I don't know how that question works, but Wu-Tang Clan, I fail. God <laughs> damn it. I'm going to fuck you up for that one, Power. <laughs> We yeah, I didn't name ODB. God damn, man, you fucked me up with that. You was gonna get, you was gonna get there. Of course, you was, I was gonna. gonna get there. Nah, you put me on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> put it like this: Who's your favorite in the firm? Let me ask you a question. Okay, number one, Nas is my motherfucking goat of all time. He's number one on That's my list. Number one guy ever of all time, Nas. But what, um. Was it is it nature what he did on five minutes to flush? That shit. I want to say this. That probably was the worst beat on there. You think? I know so. But I know nature, so I know where you going. But yeah, it was the worst beat on there. I, I'm a melodic nigga. I like those stringy piano bassy shit. Yeah. Five minutes to flush, it was just too. It's more Dre. Yes. You know now, what I'm saying? It go hard in the whip now. You know where that beat came from, though. That was, I think. That's Houdini. a classic. That's that's a classic, yeah. Houdini, five minutes to five yeah, minutes to yeah, oh, that's yeah. a classic. But, nah, nah, yo, you fucked me up with that one. But now, nah, you know what? I want you to ask a question to someone else. Ask them that to name all the members in state property. Oh, that's tough. And now, see, I don't know. Two. But I'm going to say PD. Beans, boy, that's my boy. Uh, Chris and Neve, am I right? Um, yeah, shit. <laughs> Wait, yeah. oh, um, um, Os Oskino. Oskino and Sparks. Uh huh. Oh fuck, that's all I know. That's all. That's nah, all. But Is listen, that everybody? That was a great question. That that'll fuck a lot of us up. You yeah. gotta be quick on the draw. You, yeah, cause you know, flip side was my joint back of the day on with, with state state property. Oh yeah, certainly, man. Ooh, certainly. PD crack boy. Ooh. Oh yeah. Boy, sick with Sky Zoo is one of my favorite cats, and he mad underrated. He was on the the project that you did with uh, Superior. He's on a song called "Take Y'all Back." Um, it's a oh, beautiful oh, song. Sky Zoo. Sky Zoo. How'd you connect yeah, with Sky? Yeah. Superior. Shout out to Superior, man. He's German. He's, he's Latino, too, by the way. Um, Sky Zoo, man, you know, I, I we drove out to Brooklyn to actually get with him to shoot the fed. Yeah. And it, it took longer than expected, so he couldn't make the shot. So if you watch the vid, you will notice that I'm shooting in his hood in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. but he's not present. I don't know what that was about, but I know it's because I was supposed to be there sooner, but I get it. I was out there, Sky Zoo wasn't present, but it, it, it still worked out. We shot the video on the south. So you showed up late for a Sky Zoo shoot? Yeah, pretty much, man. You know, I'm coming from Rochester, you know? Yeah. And, um, it's a, you know, it's a five, six hour drive. It was snowing, you know, it was cold in the motherfucker. But it, you know, shout out to Sky because he never let me down. You know what I mean? I, I'm, I feel like I let him down. You know what I mean? But we never got to get him in the vid. You know what I, mean? I hope y'all, um, you know, get together and do more work. Um, that's another dude I want to talk to just because. Well, actually, me and Superior getting together about to do some more work. Okay, so good. Yeah, that's what's up. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, on that particular song with Sky Zoo, you said uh, music never made what I made off crack. Has it been different? At the time, now it's different. I mean, yeah, man, music changed my life, man. 
music is keeping me me afloat out of out the way. Um, focused, balanced. You know, it definitely um turned a few leaves over for me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm content. I'm not content, but I'm appreciate. You know mm. what I'm saying? And it, it only gets better for me. You know what I'm saying? You made the the beat um for ransom the the ransom joint uh, the mystery. Yes. Um, what was your headspace like when you made that? Y'all need to go when I'm naming these songs off to y'all. Make sure y'all go check these joints out so y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. What was your headspace like when you made that beat? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. What? Wow. Rick just punched. Oh. oh man, look, pardon. That's, that's all good. Yeah, he's gotta go. He's gotta go. So look, I'm I done. got. I'm done. Got my cuz out here punching niggas in the mouth and shit. Oh my god. What? Damn right. You came out your mouth. Look, look. And you came out your mouth. Came out your mouth. Check this out, Flower. And you said it again, right, nigga? Oh, okay, said it again, right? Oh, okay, god damn, man. You said it again, right, pussy? Right? He's got right. your fucking bottom. Yeah, see what happens. That's why we can't have these boys. Bro. What are you talking about, Nick? Yo, you keep saying this shit, I'm gonna make you suck on something, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you, nigga? Yo, uh, I ain't punch you in the mouth. Oh, baby. You don't punch you in the mouth. All right, go ahead. Um, I'll see you later. He got that. He got that. I'll see you later, Just don't, don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Hey, Powers, no disrespect. Oh, I got you. <laughs> he think he's funny, man. What's up, baby? Hey, Yo, hey, I'm out, man. Like, you, uh, hold on. you ain't out yet? Hold on. Hey, I got to drop him on. All right, go ahead. Powers, this is a lot going on, man. Okay. Niggas run out here punching niggas in the mouth and shit. Yo, I did not expect that in the middle of the interview, but that's cool. It's all good. It's all all good. We keep all that, man. You know why? Because we punch niggas in the mouth all the time. Good. Okay. So we keep that. Yeah, we keep all that. Okay. Um, I was asking you, is everything all right? You in a good space? Yeah, everything all right, man. I'm just making sure everything is all right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. These boys crazy. Hey. Cuz I'll crack one of them cold ones, please. No more fucking anything out here. Oh, yeah, it's over. You heard power? You heard? Yeah. The woman spoke. You know what she said? Did everybody get the fuck out? Hey, boy, get the fuck out. <laughs> you knew that was coming. Yeah. Time to go, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she spoke. Yeah, it's time to go. But now nah, the interview must continue. And um, they could get the fuck on. So, yeah, y'all got to get going. Now nah, I'm going to run them out. There. Time to go. Time to go. Look, y'all smoking all my cigarettes. Yeah. Nigga, smoke all my cigarettes, man. I should smack you with this fucking empty pack right here. Oh, oh, here is, yo. Boy, what's smack you with the right empty pack. Then smoking my shit. Yo, come here, man. Look. Nope, I don't want to see nothing. Well, okay. Hey, I'm, yo, come on. That's me and you. Come These on. boys tripping out here, Powers. Right, family, on. friends, a little bit of everything? Yeah, a little bit of everything. That's the problem. It's a little bit of everything. So the beat for mystery. What was going through your mind when you made the beat, the, the mystery beat for Ransom? Oh, man. I ain't going to lie to you. That, that was it for me at first. I ain't going to sit you. It was for me at first. And uh, Rand hit me out of nowhere. He was like, yo, I need some beats. I think he was doing... Um, Man, I forgot what it was called. Yep. I sent him, I sent him like five joints. That was one of them. That one in the true Hollywood stories. Mm. He picked those two out of the out of the few I sent. Ransom is crazy, man. Like 
to even connect with a dude like that, like that must have been a big moment as well. But I want to I want to uh, go on to the Circle album with Wally Clark. I, I feel like cats don't know that that's a classic. It is a classic. Uh, why did you make that album in Denver? No, I actually didn't. I recorded that here in Rochester. I actually met up with Gummy Soul. And I would and my intentions were I didn't even was there for him to meet up with him. I got with Bates and Winsaw James. Shout out to them. And he showed up at the studio when we was there. But I'd never met Gummy Soul. We handled all that shit via email. That's why I told you like Oh, cause the description say that it was made in Denver. Maybe his part? Yeah, nah, nah. Okay. I recorded all that shit at the house. The um the song Life. That shit is so ill to beat the flow. Um I, I get the feeling that all of your songs is like scenes from movies. Like you could drop your any one of your songs into hood classic movies. They sound like soundtracks. Um it's a very high minded album. It, it it stretches the culture without giving a shock to the system. Do you have other concepts that you feel the game just ain't ready for yet? Or do you make music without regard to what motherfuckers is ready for or not? Well, well, I'm always make music into the, whether they would like it or not. But yes, I, you know, pissing in bottles is one of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, I mean, and, and, and it's not stepping out my box because that's me. Like I actually piss in bottles when I'm in the attic at three in the morning. Now I don't want to wake my woman up or some shit. Yeah, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm a bitch in the bottle, goddammit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all been there. Nah but, nah, but nah, you know, that, that's the, in a nutshell, it's like, it's based off my mood. My, it's as simple as a day. Like, right now it's 90 degrees. But a rainy day, a foggy, dark, rainy day, I switch the whole over. Yeah. It's as simple as switching your, your studio equipment around to the other side of the room, the environment, the groove. That it's all based off that shit. Hey, y'all, everybody that's watching this video right now, please, I don't steer y'all in the wrong direction. Go listen to The Circle album. Um, it's so dope. You ain't going to believe it when you hear it. Um, the song Bud Davis, I think I just posted that on IG yesterday. That's my favorite one right there, Powers. Bud Davis, yeah, the Bud Davis is oh, my man, favorite. It goes so hard. Uh, that what was that zone like when you wrote Pull that? Over, man. Bring the dice up, pull over, nigga. Man, I want my 200 back. Yeah, Bud Davis, Bud Davis, um, is special to me because I remember watching Urban Cowboy growing up with my mama. You mm. know what I'm saying? What's up, baby? You got the dice, man? Go get the dice. Man. Um, I remember watching Urban Cowboy with my mama and um, John Travolta watching. I remember watching Look Who's Talking with my mama. Oh, yeah. You know? Okay. I remember watching these movies. I don't know what gave me the, the Bud Davis. I don't know. I can't answer that. But I know John Travolta's my guy. I know that. So I had to do it one, one you know, sooner or later. I had to. Yeah, yeah. I want to, your, your shit is, is, is very street, but if cats play close attention, uh, spirituality is something that continues to reappear throughout your music. Can, can you talk about how your faith, how your faith fits into your life? Um, while at the same time, you still talk about doing stick up and ski masks. Nah, not today. Nah, we don't but do on that, that on, on that particular project though, right? Like you were still doing some of that on um the circle album right it was a mix Not of spirituality me. in there yeah the the, the 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 circle album is more of a, a, a smooth calm you know like i'm in my element finding myself the circle was spontaneous it was on the spot it was a request it was a proposal but I made it a point to to involve myself in it and not just make it a business. Yeah. Deal. 
Hey, um, so I mean, I know you got a lot going on. It looked like I went through every single question that I had, bro. And could you remind the people again what you got coming up that we need to be on the lookout for? Definitely, man. Listen, man, the beauty of it is out right now. Okay, do the Googles. On the way, we got Ito Bigante. Pre-orders went up Friday, July 3rd, was that? Yep. Yes, uh, July 3rd. Yep. Um, It will be out officially. Did he say August 7th? Yes, okay. Pre-order right now. Then we got Thou Shall Kill with mm -hmm. me and Jay Black. Okay. More info on the way as far as pre-orders and merchants. And then we got Jay Black solo coming. Yes. First flight. Then we got me and my young star, Boo Boo the Prince from, from, from New Crack Era West. I'm just getting to know him. Juan. Yeah, Sam Juan. Shout out to DJ Bean. Shout out to J New Crack Era. And then we got Heather Gray 2 coming. Mm. Um, me and Willie the Kid, produced by V Dawn. And then Rock America 2 is coming. Me and Flea Lord, produced by me. Yeah. Street Bible Flower City 2 is out now, produced by me, Black G's. Me and Spesh got work coming. It's a whole lot of shit coming, and we coming. Promise yeah. you. It's coming. Well, bruh, you know, it was an honor for me to sit here and have this conversation with you. Salute to you for coming and talk to me about this. Uh and, you know, you got an open door at the Mike Power Show. All you got to do is holler, man, because my people love you. All the subscribers love you. We can't get enough for you. So anytime you want to drop back in again, just hit me up on the IG, man. You know how we do. Thank you, Powers, man. Thank you. It's all love, brother. Ito, thank you. And shout and to Jay Rio. And part of the, you know what I mean, the technical difficulties, man. You know what I mean? It's, it's all, all love. love. It's all we got there. Got got there. You, you know, the day in the life, man. You know what I mean? This is what we, 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 man, listen, nothing new under the sun, baby. So it's, you're allowed to keep that and do what you want to do, upload it, whatever. The street philosopher of Rock City, better known as Rochester, New York, Ito. Thank you so much, sir. Appreciate you. Stay safe and salute to you and your family. Right on, brother. Likewise, man. Thank you, P. You heard?